Okay, so today I'm going to be speaking about uh, asynchronous job queuing, first of all, and then uh, after that uh, we will talk about Redis and uh, how Redis queue integrates with that and uh, how to integrate it with uh, Django, with Django IP. Okay. First of all, okay, about me. <laughs> I'm a recent uh, computer engineering graduate and then uh, I run a Python shop called Toplo and uh, we sell uh, affordable hosting packages as well, so if you want that, you can contact me. <laughs> Short <laughs> commercial break. Right? Okay, so and then uh, I do lots of jam, and well, as you can see, I'm not a designer. Okay, so why <coughs> asynchronous queues? Okay, so the reason we need asynchronous queues is because, uh, let's say, within uh, the context of a web application, uh, there are some problems which uh, take a long time, and but we need to show response immediately to uh, the person who is using our web application. So things like sending emails and processing images and making large API calls, uh, that can take time. So that's why we defer them to background processes and then uh, run them using uh, asynchronous queues. Okay, so in my research of uh, parallelism in Python, I found the following uh, tools uh, at our disposal. And uh, the most popular one was, of course, uh, Celery. And uh, for web, uh, I think we use mainly Celery as well as Redis okay. So, well, I tried Celery, and then uh, I decided it was not the tool for me because mainly I think it is uh, a very big uh, enterprise level framework which is available uh, for a lot of work and it has so many features and we can use it. But it is uh, it has many moving parts as well, which can fail, and then uh, it is time consuming to monitor, and then uh, you need to be very careful while using uh, and setting up salary. Okay, so which is why I decided to go with. So the main problem is it's overkill. So we don't need it <coughs> because in our simple uh, applications where we need to send emails and stuff, uh, we don't need all the features of salary. So that's why I use uh, Redis Queue. Okay, it's a very simple Python library for uh, asynchronous job queuing. And then, uh, it has a very low barrier to entry, which means you can uh, set it up and have it up and running very, very easily. And then uh, it's, uh, uh, I think, the easiest way to integrate uh, asynchronous queues into your uh, web application. So I literally got it up and running uh, within one afternoon. So, and I didn't have to edit anything, and uh, I just installed Redis and it works. Okay, uh, Redis is just a server, and then uh, it has a, like a data structure with a key, and uh, well, it's just that. <laughs> so this is how we use uh, Redis. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, Redis Q uses Redis, and then it's uh, written in pure Python, and there is no dependencies. And uh, what you can do is just it, uh, there's a simple API, and you can call it, and uh, it just works. Yeah. And here's a simple example of using <coughs> Redis Q. As you can see, you just import Redis, then you import the queue, and then you just uh, queue, you just get the connection from Redis itself, and then you enqueue a job. Uh, this is uh, an add function. And then uh, you pass the arguments, and then you get the code. <coughs> okay, so what's cool? Uh, first thing is this one. This is called RQ dashboard, <coughs> and then uh, well, you can monitor it from a web application itself. You can uh, integrate this with Flask, with Django, with anything. <sighs> okay, Django RQ is uh, the integration of RQ with. Uh, Django. So we have a very short uh, piece of setting that you need to put in settings to apply and one line of URLs and then it's done. It's working. <coughs> so this is how you enqueue jobs in Django RQ. So you just import it and then uh, this is found. Uh, arcs, parts, yeah. And you also have manage the part. <coughs> and you don't need to use that uh, previous dashboard either because Django RQ has its own dashboard. And RQ Scheduler is uh, basically, it's an extension. You can add it to Django RQ. And then you can schedule a job for later. And if you want to send spam, well, you can send it. <laughs> OK, finally, if you are already using Redis, uh, you can use the same Redis for uh, Django RQ as well. And then uh, 
uh, you can take advantage of all the optimization settings that you have already done. I call it two words, one reddish. Yeah, feel free to put me. <laughs> okay, so the main thing is it has been uh, approved in this book, which I consider the Bible of Django. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me show you a thing. <coughs> So here I have a virtual environment running. Yeah, I have Flask and uh, as you can see, Redis, Request, IQ, IQ Dashboard, I have a doc. And then uh, I simply So now I, I'm listening for work. And here we have Python. Okay, first uh, let me show you the file. So uh, it's a bit unclear. But okay, so I'm counting words at a URL <coughs> basis. I'm just getting the URL and I'm getting the length of the text. So and I'm adding to queue like this. So let's go to Python and import demo. <coughs> so when I do this, it should return okay. here. Uh, it has got that uh, function and it says job OK. Result is kept for 500 seconds. And here we have the result. 3,114 words. <coughs> so tips for using this framework. So what you want to do is you want to break your jobs into small atomic packages that only do one thing. And then uh, when at some point if you have, are building an uh, enterprise level application, this will not be enough for you. So at that point just upgrade to salary. <laughs> or if you have a uh, a lot of money, just hire someone. <laughs> <laughs> so, any questions? <coughs> so, I have a question. So, so can, can, can it replace uh, something like cron job? Oh, yeah, it has an uh, Arcus cellular. Uh, but, uh, okay, so in salary also, you do it with salary B type. Uh, yeah, in the period tax, maybe, yeah, yeah. or run this every week. Or yeah, yeah, we have Arcus cellular. Can we save those tasks, small, small tasks? Yeah. yeah. Can we uh, mm. so, uh, can we, uh, I'll be sharing a lot of this. I know this was a good time, good date, good time, as a wrong one. So, you're on the run. 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 You're on the